Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon and I'm back again with another book review. I just recently finished The Snow Gypsy, which is written by Lindsay Jane Ashford. And this is actually based on a true story of a woman who was involved in the pioneering of holistic veterinary medicine. And she was an herbalist and an author. And interestingly enough, her brother had also been killed during the, the gypsy expeditions in World War II because, as you will know, a lot of the Jews were fleeing to escape the Nazi death camps. And a lot of the times the, the Jews would go into the gypsy death, excuse me, not the gypsy death camps, they, they would head into the gypsy camps because the gypsy camps were considered cities of refuge and they still had their issues with the, the police and the, um, the SS and everything involving the Nazis, so they weren't exactly safe from raids and rape and just horrendous things that occurred, but apparently the woman whom this tale was actually written about, her brother died during one of the raids, and it was very sad, but she did get a chance to um, to really blaze a trail of, as to say, as uh, far as veterinary medicine was concerned. And this was absolutely wonderful. I couldn't put it down. It was just one of those books that I picked up and just poured over and I could literally see all these characters coming to life and having a joie de vie despite the fact that war was all around them but in Spain they had their brown shirts and they were loyal to Franco so yeah there, there was a lot of truth to that and <clears throat> it was until the aftermath when people were able to come out of hiding and celebrate the fact that the war was over but it was so interesting it was just absolutely fascinating just to see how the gypsies lived their life and the pilgrimage that they they went on and the dialect that they spoke the Romani dialect or Romanji dialect I think it was called uh, Kako or Kalo I think it was called Kalo was the dialect but it was just really a incredible tale if you're like me you love World War II and you find a story like this compelling it um is one that is absolutely spectacular and totally totally mesmerizing and transfixing and beguiling in its way and the gypsies are very charming and of course um Rose's story and little Nieva's story uh, are intertwined and there's another character who becomes intertwined with them as well and it's all because their brothers went to fight during World War II or get they got killed in the front lines and a lot of people lost loved ones in that way they just got caught in the crossfire trying to flee to the higher ground and escape the Nazis and a lot of them didn't make it but <clears throat> other things were issues such as dysentery and scarlet fever apparently scarlet fever was common I guess it was because lack of medicine and just the ability to get inoculations during a time of utter hell it was extremely difficult but other than that I have to say that Snow Gypsy was absolutely breathtaking it was exhilarating to read and it had a semblance of happy ending even though we know that Rose's brother 
unfortunately died, but she did get a sense of comfort knowing this and the fact that she continued to live. And the real Rose, um, she lived a very long life and it's just incredible to see how pioneering and forward thinking she was and her field and a field that had never really been um, approached in this manner. So that that's really something to say for her innovative character and her creativity. Um, that's about all I have to say about Snow Gypsy. It's just truly fantastic and lovely and marvelous to read and unfortunately woefully short but still very 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 rewarding as a read live long prosper Ciao,